today we will be discussing the types of meristematic tissues based on position now if the meristematic tissue is present at the tips of roots or yeah, shoots then it is called as apical meristematic tissue it is present at tips of roots and shoots now if there is something added here imagine the cells are dividing and cells are being added here now what is going to happen the tip is going to increase in the length that means what it is in going to increase the overall length of the plant okay so what does this meristematic tissue help it helps in increasing the length of a plant now next what is this intercalary meristematic tissue first is apical second is intercalary now it is present at the base of the node at the top of the internode okay so it is present at the base or at the top of the node now what are these nodes nodes are the parts from which which consist of meristematic cells from which the new parts like stem branches leaves arise okay so imagine this is the part from where a branch arises so this or leaves arises then this part is the node between these two nodes there is internode okay so this type of meristematic tissue are present here at the base of the nodes and internodes okay so present at top or base of nodes or internodes now what do this meristematic tissue does now here the cells will divide right more cells will be added again in the same way so again the length of the plant will be increased right so again the same function as that of apical it increases the length of a plant now let's see what is this the third type that is lateral meristematic tissue lateral means what on the either sides so if this is the longitudinal axis on the either side of this longitudinal axis you have lateral meristematic tissue which is red part here as you can see now imagine the cells are added here so now what is it is going to do it is going to increase the diameter of the stem or root means if you want to increase the length which cells are which tissues are going to help apical meristematic tissue and intercalary but if you want to increase if the plant wants to increase its diameter then which meristematic tissue will be helping the lateral meristematic tissue means it is present lat on the lateral sides of the cent longitudinal axis of a plant or you can say laterally to the longitudinal axis of a plant now what is this what is the function of this meristematic tissue it will increase the diameter of diameter or you can say girth of a plant example of this which tissues help in increasing the girth as we have seen in the previous video which tissue help the cork cambium so it, one example is cork cambium there are there is vascular cambium right there are many different types but here for one example is cork cambium so example of the lateral meristematic tissue which will divide and form what cork cambium and this will increase your girth of the plant so let us see here the first type apical meristematic tissue second is intercalary and third is lateral so based on position i hope you guys have understood for the next video that is based on function please refer my channel okay thank you